In this video, I wanted to go ahead and cover top five futuristic sneakers of 2018. If you guys are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and notification bell if you wanna be notified of when I post. Let's go ahead and jump into the top five. The number five spot goes to the Nike Hyperadapt 1.0 self-lacing sneaker. From concept to reality, the idea started back when Tinker Hatfield designed a pair of sneakers for the 1989 Back to the Future 2 movie, which is known as a Nike Mag. Fast forward to 2016 and we actually got a self-lacing Nike Mag in very limited numbers through a raffle on Nike sneakers, which I actually donated $100 to try to cop myself. From that, Tiffany Beers, a Nike designer, and Tinker Hatfield created Nike's first self-lacing sneaker to release, the Hyperadapt 1.0. The sneaker reads EARL, which stands for Electric Adaptable Reaction Lacing. They actually used the base of an Air Jordan 29 model, I believe, to fit the motor in since it had an aggressive cutout in the sole. There's actually a manual on how to utilize the shoe even. But does this shoe actually provide value in today's sneaker market? Maybe not yet, but the innovation behind it is what interests me. Tinker mentioned the concept of a basketball player being able to have his shoes unlaced automatically during a timeout or on the bench or while shooting free throws, then zip immediately and tighten back up right as they needed to. And that's what I pictured for the future, and I think that that concept sounds pretty cool. Number four spot goes to the Adidas Futurecraft 4D printed midsoles. I've talked about these a lot on the channel recently and prices of these shoes go for around $300 for the new tech that we're seeing more of in 2018. A lot more. It's on new models including a laceless basketball shoe and a potential Nike runner. The concept? It's a 3D printed midsole from a company named Carbon that uses digital light synthesis to craft the midsole from a liquid resin. It features engineered zones for various needs for runners like propulsion, cushioning, stability, comfort, and has over 20,000 struts that form the midsole. While the Futurecraft 3D was introduced then silently went away, this time I think Adidas may be onto something. The end goal is to be able to walk into a store, run on a treadmill and have it mapped to your foot and then create a brand new personally customized running shoe for that consumer. I think that would definitely take running shoe technology to the next level for sure. Time will tell to see if this product is actually embraced by the consumers. <laughs> So the number three spot goes to the Enco running shoe, which I previously mentioned as a sneaker gimmick. The retail of these cost $372. The company boasts that this is a technology running shoe for comfort and power and high performance shock absorption. You can adjust the weight for the user, you can set it for walking versus running mode, and it has replacement studs on the bottom for your shoe. They raised $107,000 on the Indiegogo campaign for this shoe. It really looks like a futuristic Nike shock. While it does probably deliver some sort of shock absorption, the reality is this is not a shoe that probably the everyday runner will be able to use, but maybe there's a niche market within the running community that actually can find value into what the Enco running shoe offers. The number two spot goes to Shift Sneakers, which had the concept of changing the colors of the entire sneaker to be able to match your specific outfits. What it really ended up being closest to, however, was a shoe with a flexible LED screen. You can change the background of the shoe with a connectivity on your phone app. It's $500 to actually pre-order your own pair. And while the concept seems pretty cool, it's not likely that something like this will be properly developed to hit the mainstream consumer markets. I do like the idea of being able to express the freedom and creativity of yourself on an actual pair of shoes, but I just don't see it actually coming to fruition in a positive way. All right, we made it to the number one spot, and if you guys are enjoying the content, feel free to share the video, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, all those fancy things. But the number one spot goes to the world's first intelligent sneaker, known as the Digisoul Smart Shoe. Originally started as a Kickstarter, they raised $114,000, and the price was $390 for two pairs of shoes. But what do these intelligent shoes do, may you ask? Let me tell you. You can actually use an app to tighten the shoe. It has Bluetooth to connect to the phone for various analytics like cushioning and steps. It has a USB charger in the shoe and it has an LED light button and it regulates the heat in your foot. I think that's probably the craziest thing that we've heard about. Self-tightening through an app seems like more of a hassle than anything though. And if you're gonna have analytics for steps and whatnot, you might as well just use like a Fitbit. I think that the idea of coming to the digital age was something that was kind of interesting to hear about. However, the overall development of the shoe just seemed to be lackluster. They did, however, evolve a bit and create two insoles, one that has a smart insole and the other one that actually has a heating insole. And I think that that might have more value add than the entire smart shoe. The fact that you have a self-heating insole is kind of a cool idea. Like air conditioning for your feet would be rad. But all in all, the technology that they're actually offering versus what they really thought they were gonna be offering just varied too much. Who knows what the future could hold though. They could actually end up creating something really cool. But that is my top 
top five. Leave some comments. Let me know what other future sneakers are out there that you guys have heard of or seen. And this was a fun list for me to be able to research. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Anyways, thank you guys for stopping by and watching the video. If you guys want to see other top five sneaker videos, check the link in the description. And if you guys want to click any of the videos that you see on the screen at this time, feel free to do so. And you can go ahead and watch those other videos. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good rest of the day. We'll catch you guys for some more videos soon. Peace, guys.